As you saw at the end of the last video, we defined velocity as the derivative of position with respect to time. Um, and so we can, we can write that out in words, but I am going to take a minute to write that out um, as a formula. And now you can actually see the value of Leibniz notation because remember with Leibniz notation this this means the derivative of x with respect to time and with Leibniz notation you can see both the thing you're taking the derivative of that's the x and the variable you're taking it with respect to so Leibniz notation is very useful in lots of physics applications uh, this statement is exactly the same as the statement in the last video, that velocity is the derivative of x with respect to time. Now we can define acceleration, which we'll do by writing that acceleration is the derivative of velocity with respect to time. Okay. Um, so as you know, velocity is the slope of the position versus time graph, and Acceleration is the slope of velocity versus time. So it's not surprising that these would have um, similar relationships. But these are your first real physics calculus relationships, uh, are these two equations. And these are essentially, as I said, they are definitions. So these are not really physics equations that talk about the, the structure of the universe so much as they are what we mean by velocity and what we mean by acceleration.